First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kordash, and the Monsell's Green Millstone, while I truth, and also to those who lack that are scattered abroad. I'd like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the type of date lesson is Famine of the Word Update. So I'd like to say, Shalom, to all our listeners. Hope this will you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So I have a quick news article here before we start the daily lesson by the people voice. And it reads, it said, South Dakota and Georgia criminalized key Bible teaching under anti-Semitism law. So let's read a little bit more to see where it says here banned. So it's going to come a time that whereby the men of law will not be on the highways and byway. They're not going to be constantly making themselves a living a sacrifice. The Lord is going to bring forth the what? The famine of the word. And also we constantly warn you, left and right, seek the Lord while he can be found. Seek the Lord while he is near. And one thing about it, how can you seek the Lord through what? The men of the law, the prophets, the one that's in the highways and the Bible, the constantly making these video each and every day. We knowing that what the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. He constantly coming with all these different what? Unrighteous decrees, all these constantly what? Uh, framing mischief with a law. You know, you're seeing that, you know, the truth is, is, is going forth throughout the four corners of earth. The truth is being declared and also is cutting them like a razor. Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, also the heathen nation. You know, so so that breath of life is in us right now and great fear is falling upon uh, these heathen nations. Also, these two, the, the truth is being declared throughout the four corners of the earth. And one thing about it, the Lord is making it known. And I about the Lord is speaking through you through his what? Mouthy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, we'll constantly warn you left and right whether you will hear or whether you will, uh, will forbear. So let's read a little bit more of this article before we start today's lesson. It's a new uh, legislation uh, uh, in act in South Dakota and Georgia has criminalized important Bible teaching under the guise of protecting Jewish uh, people from uh, anti senate Anti-Semitism, Salakia, kind of a little tongue twist. It said, Governor Christy Norm and Brian Kemp signed a bill into law uh, uh, codifying uh, for state uh, purpose of uh, the International Holocaust Remembrance Association. So that's what we're going to go and I got a video to bring it out with a little bit more, but we see it right here that, you know, they get ready to bring forth the uh, persecution of the saint, you know, they, first they hated him, they also shall hate you. So we already know we get ready to go down these uh uh these uh perilous time, you know, this evil time. It's constantly growing all around us. So they already uh deem this uh this truth as what hate speech. Also what your freedom of, of speech. So you know it's gonna come a particular time you go out there just teaching with your Bible, you know, your 1611 Bible, just going out teaching the words of the Lord and you will be criminalized, will be put into what? Prison, FEMA camps, also these what? Guillotines, also when you get a chance, look up these Noah High laws, you know, they're coming to interplay, you know, so a lot of things are coming down the pipeline, so persecution of the saints is at the door, so that's something else I want to get out before we start the day, let's, says here, he said, however, the anti uh uh, Senatism law uh, do not just make it illegal to use symbols and image associated with anti-Semitism uh, to uh, uh, to uh, uh, criticize uh, Israelis. Man, I'm telling you, it's said, it said, all, Is all Israel said they also make it a criminal offense to preach key parts of the Holy Bible. Wow. So we know that we're coming upon these times. These things are, uh, uh, man, are fast approaching, you know. So I'm not going to read this part right here, but I'm just going to let you look at, you know, you pause and, and read this here. But I got a little video to bring it out a little bit more. We don't want to bring out too much on this subject because you already know that we're in that time where they're, they're getting ready to take down men's videos. Also, they're going to start, you know, you know, also going to take down a whole uh, social media site. You're already talking about uh TikTok, you know, so these things are constantly spreading. So we're seeing that this happening in uh, South Dakota and Georgia. We're already knowing that this is going to spread abroad. This is what they want. You know, and one thing about it, we're not ignorant of Satan's device. This is their agenda. This is his plan. And one thing about it, you know, they, you know, they, they trying to take already, uh, I think, 
It's been a while back. They already took prayer out of the school. They're they doing it little by little, gradualism. We're seeing that these things are constantly are picking up left and right. While you are still sleeping, the devil is constantly getting busy, constantly putting all sorts of these unrighteous decrees, all these de Tartarian law, dictatorship into place. They want what? Total control. So a lot of things, you know, like we will say, you know, like your grandma, you said, watch what you say. And one thing about it is that we're seeing that we're here, but see, we are the men of the Lord. We're, gonna, we're not going, you know, we're not going to shut this truth down. The Lord has set us up, set us up as watchmen. You know, when you go to uh, Ezekiel chapter three and verse 17, so I set watchmen upon thy walls, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and one thing about also Isaiah chapter 62, you know, they you know, they will not keep silent. They are not. The Lord is getting ready to silence the truth because one, one thing about it, he's clo closing the what? The door of repentance. The door of repentance is constantly closed. He's constantly bringing these laws into play left and right. So now let's start the day video. And uh, after the video, we'll start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. You can deal with anti-Semitism, meanwhile Washington fumbles it. A big one today, right? You're going to be signing some historic legislation to take on the scourge of anti-Semitism. Yeah, we actually did that just a couple of hours ago. We signed a bill that defined what anti-Semitism was. It gave powerful examples that we can use in litigation and in court to make sure that hate crimes stop, not just in South Dakota, but this will be used as model legis legislation in many other states because it is written so strong and it was unified within the Jewish community, within the groups that have always stood strong with Israel, and it is something that we will use throughout the United States of America to make sure that anti-Semitism is stopped. I think all of us were horrified by what happened on October 7th. And what I was even more horrified about after that was the pro-Hamas support that some uneducated people in this country endorsed and wrapped their arms around. So we're going to use this as an opportunity not just to stop hate crimes, but to stand with our Israel allies and to also make sure that we're pushing back on terrorist organizations who want to destroy not just Israel, but also the United States of America. Republican Governor Kristi Noem signs a historic bill to combat anti-Semitism into law. This law requires the consideration of a specific definition of anti-Semitism when investigating unfair or discriminatory practices. And that definition was created by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. Discrimination by race or religion is already outlawed but they need a specific definition, and they are the only group that has a specific definition like this. So let's take a look at this definition. Anti-Semitism is a certain perception of Jews which may be expressed as hatred towards Jews. Rhetorical and physical manifestations of anti-Semitism are directed towards Jewish or non-Jewish individuals and or their property, towards Jewish community institutions and religious facilities. Let's hone in on that first part. It's a certain perception which may be expressed as hatred towards Jews. Well, that's awfully vague, but luckily they do give some examples. Calling for, aiding, or justifying the killing or harming of Jews in the name of a radical ideology or an extremist view of religion. Who defines what a radical ideology or an extremist view of religion is? I would argue that a lot of rabbis and a lot of people in their community have an extremist view of religion, especially the ones that follow the Talmud. Let's say that Israel is in a war with another country. If we airdrop humanitarian aid to that country and Israel says so that they have a radical... That's enough of that. That's the only thing I want to make out of that. But we're seeing that, you know, we're coming upon famine of the world. It is what fast approach. We're seeing that it is at the door. You already know they're going to uh, demonize the men of the law. Also, they're going to they're going to all group us all together. You know, saying that, hey, you know, these the extremist group, they are uh, trying to start a revolution. You know, they're teaching hate speech. You know, they're they are racist. You know, all these things are getting ready to come upon us. First, they hated him, which in fact is what? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and they also they shall hate you. And one thing about it, if you're a true man of the law, you get ready to suffer persecution for what for what for His name's sake. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we'll start the day lesson. We'll start here in uh, Isaiah chapter ten and verse one. And it reads, "Said Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree that write grievousness 
which they have prescribed. So woe means destruction. So one thing about the de de decree going to what? Into a law. And one thing about it, you already know they constantly bringing all these different uh uh, laws, these different what mandates and executive orders, you know, left and right. Why are they doing this? You know, and why, what are they planning for? We already know what they're planning for. The what total control. You know, we can't even say this three letter word anymore because it's getting, we're getting down to the why. They get ready to pull this truth down. You know, time to get it while it's hot. You know, the election has attained and the rest was blinded. So, so we see into this law that came out, you know, about, you know, hey, you know, uh, they're going to criminalize, you know, for teaching about, you know, or saying certain things, you know, or saying this or saying that. You understand what I'm saying? So it's coming to the wild, but the Lord is bringing it to the, uh, to the crow. I mean, bringing it to a close, so lock it. And one thing about it, we're seeing that we're here, so what they have prescribed or what authorized. So they constantly put these things in place. So we know what happened in Canada, you know, what, what the law they put out up there, you know, this uh, prime minister up there about, you know, teaching and, you know, out in public, you know, reading the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Which in fact now, you know, this word has, you know, it's constantly, constantly uh, 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 shedding light on all the, what the lies and deception. And one thing about it, you know, Esau is getting what bare and bare. The Lord is constantly exposing him left and right. He's, you know, the devil that the Bible speaks so now let's go here to uh psalm chapter 94 psalm chapter 94 psalm chapter 94 one moment 94 psalm chapter 94 and we'll start up at verse i start up at verse 16 psalm chapter 94 and verse 16 said who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. So one thing about that, we seeing that, you know, right now, you know, these evil doers, you know what I'm saying, Esau, Edom, you know what I'm saying, these heathen nation, you know what I'm saying, the two-third, you know what I'm saying, who is standing up against the workers of iniquity. Those are the true men of the Lord. You know what I'm saying, one that's in the what, once again, the highways in the Bible, making these videos, constantly being what, bold as lie, standing in the face of their oppressor. You know, we don't, we're not even giving a damn about a dying. One thing about it, you know, whether we die, the Lord already told us that he will have a what? He said, be thy faithful until death. He will give us a crown of life. When you go to Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10, we know that that persecution is coming. We're going to keep the faith. We're going to keep pushing. The Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord, the Lord gave us, given us hope. You know, each and every day through this what? Wisdom and knowledge. This gospel. You know, it will sustain you when these times of trouble come. And the one that's doing standing up for righteousness and standing on their watch and stand on fire is the men of the Lord. The, the prophets started with the 144 and also what? The true believer, that great multitude, the house of David. That's who the Lord is coming back for. We are standing up. We are rising up against the workers of iniquity each and every day. It's getting ready to come down to the wild. One thing about it, through much tribulation. Ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So let's drop down right here. It said, verse 20, it said, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Said, which frame is mischief by law? So one thing about the thrones of iniquity is what Esau eat them, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know, he constantly putting all these uh mandates, all these laws, these executive orders in place because he won't what? Total control. We know that that digital society is coming. We know that that grain of rice is coming. You know, all the out of chaos, all sorts of things that happen all around the world simultaneously. It's happening left and right. Seek the Lord while he can be found because what? We are running out of time. The truth is have, have a time living on. The Lord is getting ready to close the book and he get ready to bring forth that judgment. Something that you had never seen before and will never see again. The Lord is getting ready to bring it. We come to the one you left and right. Judgment is getting ready to uh, befall us. You know, mass judgment, a mass destruction, mass what death. You know, it's at the door, the beginning of sorrow. Now, verse 21 said, they gathered themselves together against the souls of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. We're seeing that right now, right before I, that's what they're doing, constantly condemning, you know what I'm saying, that innocent blood, which in fact goes into what Israel, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, they're constantly, you know, trying to condemn, constantly trying to uh, 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 shut this truth down, but the Lord is going to shut it down. Verse 22 said, but the, but the Lord is my defense and my power is the rock of my Re uh, refuge, you know, so so the Lord's gonna be that strong, that strong tower in the times of uh, trouble. So we don't have anything to worry about. Let's read this again. Say, but the Lord is my defense in my and and my power. 
See, it was the rock of my refuge. You know, so one thing about it, we will, we'll be stable in these times of trouble because we trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 23, it says, Say, he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord, our power, shall cut them off. So the Lord's getting ready to cut you don't cut this red devil off very soon, so we don't have anything to worry about. We, it's coming to a close. We see we're in that transition to power. All we got to do is hold fast what we have. You don't say the same that endure, the same shall be saved. Hey, man, we're here. Let's go here to uh, Matthew chapter uh, 24. Random scripture, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 9. And it reads, it said, Then shall they deliver you up to be affl aff afflicted and shall kill you. Say, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So we this is getting ready to come down to the wild. And once again, look up those nor nor high laws. You know, they're coming soon. You know, we know that these FEMA camps coming into play. We already know these guilty, you know, so all sorts of things to get ready to come up upon the men of the Lord. You're getting ready to be tried as gold is tried in the fire. So the Lord is getting ready to test you to see if you're worthy of, of what? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in right. So the Lord is getting ready to find out who is the true men of the Lord. And that day they shall know that a prophet was among them. So we're very close to this time. We're seeing it, it, it is what at hand. We're seeing the fast approaching, man. We know that, you know what I'm saying, great persecution, great affliction, you know what I'm saying, great uh, tribulation is get ready to come up, a, a, a fallen. But one thing about it, we were not what been a foal. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to crumble like a cook. A lot of people going to be what? Bugged out of their mind, searching and looking for the truth. So now let's go here. Uh, Let's go here to uh, Amos chapter uh, 5. Let's go here to Amos chapter 5. Amos chapter 5 and verse 10. Amos chapter 5 and verse 10. And it reads, said, They hate him that rebukes in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh upright. Who is speaking upright? Those are the what? The, the prophets that's out in the highways and byways. He's constantly making these video pistols each and every day. Constantly making themselves a living sacrifice for who? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, we're, we're not keep not sign. They hate him that rebukes at the gate. They hate the men of the Lord. Constantly scoffing and mock. Constantly not believing. Constantly being rebellious. And one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to what? To cease the heresy of the pride. Hate him that rebukes that each and every day. They trying to close the mouthpiece up, but the Lord is going to do it. And also the Lord is going to bring forth that judgment. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. So now let's go here to uh, Amos chapter 8 and verse 11 while we're here. Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. Because this is where we at right here. It's coming coming to the wild right here. These prophecies are speaking, man, left and right, man. It, it is at the door. Uh Amos chapter uh, 8 and verse 11, he said, Behold, the day is come, says the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So it's coming a time when you're not going to hear these words. You're not going to hear this lovely song. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, you know, we have piped unto you, but you know, but you have not danced. A lot of people right now, they're not listening right now. They're not uh, hearing right now. They're not heeding the call. They're in the house of mirth right now. They're constantly what? Laughing and smiling and having a great old time as of the days of Noah, as of the days of right now. But you in for a rude awakening. One thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to bring for a judgment. The Lord said, I come not to bring peace, but a sword. Hey, the Lord's getting ready to bring. That sword goes, goes into what? Judgment, massive judgment. It is at hand, very fast approaching. Hey, seeing what's going on. He keep hollering about what? April the 8th, left and right. They wearing it out on all over, the, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Something is getting ready to happen. Everybody comes and saying, something is getting ready to happen. What are they preparing for? And hey, you better get prepared. And the only way you will get prepared is what? Is hearing the words of the Lord. If the Lord is what? Is dealing with you. Verse uh, 12. So like in one moment. Verse 12, it says, uh, Amos chapter 8 and verse 12 says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So in that day, you know, they're going to be looking from east to west, north, the north to south. You know, where is those men in those dresses, the one that we was calling crazy, the one that they was teaching hate speech? Jesus, where is he at? He, 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 Jesus will not, you will not find Jesus in that time of trouble. And his name is not Jesus' name, it's Yahweh our Lord and Savior, and our Great deliver. One thing about it is you're in for a rude awakening. So a lot of these people are gonna be bugged out of their damn minds. You know what I'm saying? 
great desperation, great sorrow. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be what? Grabbing their ankles. They're going to be in labor like a woman in travail. You know what I'm saying, man? It's it, it fast approach. It's getting ready to come upon a terrible time that we have never seen before. So now let's go here to, uh, <clears throat> let's go here to, uh, let's go here to uh, Isaiah chapter 2. I uh, know Isaiah chapter 29. Let's go here. Isaiah chapter 29. <clears throat> One moment. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 21. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 21 said, That make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of not. So one thing about it, that who is offended? You know, who, who defended this gospel each and every day? You know what I'm saying? They're what? Let, they're setting a what? A snare or what? A trap, putting these what? Laws in the place. It's going to get harder and harder to teach this word. But one thing about it, we already know that the Lord is bringing it to a close. So we're seeing it right now. You know, they're constantly setting these snares, these laws, these uh, uh, executive orders, putting these things into play left and right. And one thing about it is that, you know, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to keep signing crime, blowing the Trump until the Lord bring it to a close. You know, the Lord going to say, shut up. And that's when the Lord going to bring forth that judgment. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, he's getting ready to perform it very soon. And you get ready to know perfectly where you're going to know clearly when the Lord bring it forth. Hey, hey, many shall be taken in a great number. So let's read this again. It's Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 21 said, that make a man a offender for a word and lay a snare or a trap for him that reproveth uh, in the gate, talking about the prophet, and turn aside the just for a thing of not. So that's what they're trying to do. You're seeing it left and right. Unrighteous decrees, all sorts of things. Tartarian law, dictatorship. You know, you already know they come with these lockdowns, these mandates, these plan, a pandemic, all sorts of things. MOTB, these things are coming. Economic collapse. So, hey, man, you better get prepared. You better hear the words of the law from the true men of the law. You know, and one thing about it. Keep not sight of you. If you know something, say something, regardless. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord got you. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, you know, we get ready to uh, go into our first estate once again. The Lord's getting ready to uh, to lift us up. The Lord's getting ready to give us what? Immortality, rulership, spiritual power. You're not ready to rule. You're getting ready to die. We constantly warn you. Left and right, it is here. It is at the door. So now, let's go here to, uh, let's get one more. I think it's in uh, John, John chapter 9. John chapter 9, let's go here. Surrender scriptures, John chapter 9. John chapter 9 and verse 4. John chapter 9 and verse 4. Because we're coming upon this time right here where no man will work. It says here, it says, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. So it's coming upon that time. A time of trouble that we've never seen before. Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, where no man will work. There will be no jobs. You know what I'm saying? It's no resource. And if the Lord is not on your side, you will be totally destroyed. The Lord is breaking the staff of the bread, your necessity, your way of life. You know, we're seeing it happening right before us. This place is getting ready to be a third world country. Seek the Lord while he can be found, while he is near. Amen. We're constantly warning you. Left and right, we're signing crime. We're blowing the trump. And one thing about it, you still think that this is a game, but all the games are about to be over. And one thing about it, we're here. So let's go here. Family of the word is fast approach. Let's read this one more time. It said, John 9 and 4 said, said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Hey, coming upon that time. You know, hey, we get ready to, you know, get to our final rest very soon. The Lord is getting ready to bring it to the close. He's getting ready to shut the mouthpiece up. And you get ready to find out who your true power is, which in fact is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Who I'm talking to? I'm talking to the what? The Negroes, the Latinos, the native Indian. You know, so I'm talking to you. It's time to return to your true power while you still have time. The door of repentance is closed. We're constantly warning. Let's go here now. I've been quoting this for so long. Let's go here to Isaiah chapter 55. Let's go here to Isaiah. Chapter 55, Isaiah chapter 55, see, Isaiah chapter 55, no, let's go here first, let's go here, it just came to me, let's go here to Second Chronicles, before we, we, we gonna close out with that one, uh, Second Chronicles, oh man, Second Chronicles chapter 36, ain't been over here in a minute, and 14 or 15, I think it's 15, 
Second Chronicles chapter 36 and verse 15. And it says, And the Lord power, Yahweh, by Hashem Abishai, of their father, sent to them by his uh, messenger, said, said, Rising up betimes and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. You know, which in fact is what Israel. Uh, verse 16 said, But they mocked the messenger of the Lord, the Almighty Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. So that's where we're at right now. So the Lord is getting ready, you know what I'm saying, bring forth that judgment. It comes to the what? Mocking and scoff. They even killed the prophet back in the day. The same rebellious uh, two-thirds back down still here right now. So we seeing that we're here. Let's read this once again. I love this here. Uh, Second Chronicles chapter 36 and verse uh, uh, verse 15 says, And the Lord, Lord power, Yahweh, by Hashem of their of their fathers, sent to them by his messenger, said, said rising up betimes and sending because he had compassion on his people and saying, and on his dwelling place. So the Lord, what? Son forth the what? The prophet. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, you know what I'm saying? Son forth, you be time. You know what I'm saying? So you can get what? This wisdom is not. You know, he's warning you. You don't through his mouth be each and every day. But a lot of people, you're constantly scoffing and mocking. But you're not scoffing and mocking up. you scoffing and mocking the one that sent us, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So one thing about it, the Lord is having compassion. But the, hey, the door of repentance is closed. Even though the Lord is long suffering, but he's getting ready to bring it forth. We constantly warn you. Verse 16 said, but they mocked the messenger of the almighty and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. So one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to make it happen. Family of the word and fast approach. A great time of trouble that we have never seen before. We all, all, we all also know what? The hour of temptation. It is fast approach. You know, it shall go into your right hand or your forehead. And one thing about it, you know, us out here gathering in the highways and the byway, you know, constantly going to what these camps and all, all these things get ready to be a thing of the past. You better you better hope and pray that the Lord be on your side and that you're a part of the whole elect. If not, you know, say, hey, man, you're going to have hell to pay. The Lord is getting ready to bring it down. And he, what he said in, uh, he said in what, uh, 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 what is First Peter chapter four and seventeen? Whereby it said, first my judgment will start at the house of Israel, you wicked Negroes, you wicked Latinos, you wicked native in it. It's time to seek the Lord. So let's go here to uh Isaiah. We'll close out here. Isaiah chapter fifty five. Isaiah chapter fifty five, and we'll start up at verse six. Isaiah chapter fifty five and verse six. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. It said, Call ye. Upon him while he is near. So one thing about how do you seek the Lord? Through what? Through his prophets, through his mouthpiece. The one that's constantly, once again, doing these videos of pistol. You're out here and how he's about we constantly one you constantly scoffing and mock. And one thing about it, seek the Lord while he is near. Right now, it's time to seek the Lord. Verse 7 it said, said, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power. For he will abundantly pardon Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So one thing about it, we're very close. We're seeing that, you know, left and right, they're constantly putting things into place, you know. You know, it's causing, saying that uh, these are hate speech, uh, talking about your freedom of speech. You know, these things are getting ready to come to a close. Things are getting ready to come to an end. You know, Esau is the end of this earth age, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. We know that our salvation is very close at the door. We're seeing that the prophecy are constantly lining up left and right, even though that we're sounding like a broken record. But these are the times that we're living in. And one thing about it, the Lord has already sent forth this prophet, whether you will hear or whether you will forbear. So the title of the daily lesson, once again, is Famine of the Word Update. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Kwadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.